Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here at WPCentral.com and we give you a quick tour here of Sonic Jewels, the first Sega Game Gear and Master System emulator for Windows Phone should be hitting the marketplace in the next few days. It will cost, I believe it's a $1.99 or $1.49, I gotta check that price again. But uh, you can see it right here, that's the main emulator. And actually right here it has pinnable games to the start menu. And you can see they flip around too, giving your latest information like how long you're playing. Really cool stuff. Let's launch the emulator itself. The emulator is actually one of my favorite parts. It's really well designed. You can see here in the main screen you have your continuation of a recent game you're playing. You can choose and play uh, your import and general settings. Let's hit choose and play. These are all the ROMs I have loaded on here. Of course, it doesn't come with any ROMs. Well, it comes with, I think, one or two free games that are in the public domain. But then the rest you have to load yourself. Scroll over and you have your recents. Go over here and you have favorites and back to your main games. When you choose any of these, like say we'll do Street Fighter 2, it launches into this little screen here. It gives you the last play time, total play time, your slot, checks some information. You can even have saved states, so you can have different slots for saving the game, which is really nice and very convenient, obviously. Of course, you can pin it to your start menu. And of course, that one's already pinned, so it doesn't really need to do it again. You can even edit its name right here, which is kind of nice. Sometimes ROMs have strange names to them. I'll show you gameplay in a few moments, but I just want to show you some other things. Here's how you import. There's two main ways. You can do it via SkyDrive or URL. URL, you just give it the main address and it'll import it. SkyDrive, though, is probably the easiest for most of you. Just upload it to your SkyDrive, and then you can just import them that way. Give it a second here to sign in. And you can see here's my SkyDrive now, and I have a little folder called ROMs. And I've just uploaded games to them and simply just tapping them. Now most of these I think are already loaded, but you'll see you just tap it and that's it. It installs and now it'll show up in my game list. And that's all there is to it actually. Under settings here, you have quite a few. Screen orientation, portrait and landscape. Or you can just choose portrait or landscape so it won't auto rotate. You have frame skip. If you have a Gen 2 device, you can do all frames. And your SkyDrive information and built in games you can reinstall. And that's pretty much it. So, let's actually check out a game. I suppose we'll do Street Fighter. And we'll do play. Hopefully I'll be able to play this well. So you have here, this is the portrait mode. Now it's already in the game, which I had won. Awesome. Uh, and you can see you have your main D-pad and your buttons here. Reset and pause at the below. The frame rate is pretty good. There is no sound as of right now. It's something you hope, they hope to fix in the future, so that is a downside. Of course, we can rotate it over here. And let's see if I can, I don't know if I'll be able to play this. <laughs> and I'm doing really terrible right now. But anyway, so you kind of get the idea. So gameplay is actually really smooth on it. Kind of fun to be able to play Street Fighter on your Windows phone. Uh, let's see, we can do Alex Kidd in Miracle World. So same thing here, let's let it rotate. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep dying here on all these uh, games so <laughs> but as you can see gameplay is actually very very smooth here great system I'm really impressed with it it's kind of a bummer about no sound but on the other hand you know baby steps I suppose because frame rate right now is actually really really nice here's Sonic for those who want to play the original Sonics and I'm terrible at Sonic too I'm actually not very good at a lot of these games As you can see, overall great gameplay. I'll probably die there. But the D-pad is pretty good. As you can see here, it's kind of shadowed. Uh, I would, wouldn't mind if it had a buffer that was a little bit more uh, available because otherwise it, it's not that sensitive. But overall, it, it's pretty responsive to touch. Same thing with the A and B buttons. They all work very well. So that is Sonic Jewels. I highly recommend it. Like I said, should be in the marketplace in the next few days. Should be great for all you classic gamers out there 
who basically want to play all your really old games. Uh, great, great game though. Great emulator. There you go. Take care, everybody.